right, so let's talk about converting decimal numbers to binary numbers, okay? We learned how to count a long time ago, and so I think we take for granted what it is to count. And so let's just go through the excruciating process of, of counting, right? So you start at zero, you add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then what do you do? Well, you do 10. How did you know that? I would be willing to bet you take it for granted. But what you really did was, is you realized that you are in base 10, which is what decimal means, deci, decimal, deci stands for 10. What you realized was you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You have 10 different I'm going to call them hieroglyphic, hieroglyphics, I don't know how to spell hieroglyphics, uh, to represent numbers, okay? And when you got to 9, which is technically the 10th number, right, because you started at 0, when you got to 9, you ran out of symbols to represent the number 10, okay? Now, you could have easily done A, B, C, D and said this is 10 and 11 and and 12 you know and so on and so forth and use letters but then at that point you wouldn't be in base 10 anymore because you have more than 10 symbols so if you stop yourself here and say I'm only going to use 10 symbols the numbers 0 through 9 then once I hit 10 I need to restart right go back to my first number and add an extra one here, right? And you do the same, then you just keep going, 11 all the way down to 19, and then you run out of, you run out of numbers there, so then you go zero and you carry, and that becomes a two, okay? When you get all the way down to 99, you say, okay, I ran out of numbers, I carry, well, then I get a big run out of numbers again, you carry, and now you've got three digits. And the number of digits grows every time you run out of symbols, okay? And so binary, the word by, is base 2. So the difference between base 10 and base 2 is that in base 10 you have 10 symbols, in base 2 you have 2 symbols. So the only 2 symbols that you have are 0 and 1. And so when you get to 1, you have to restart and carry. But that's not, that looks like a 10, but it's not. This is actually the third number. Well, technically we start at zero. This is the third number in the sequence, but it actually represents two in decimal. And so if I keep going with this kind of notation, I'm gonna say 11, okay, just like I did here. But then I can't do 12 because the number, the, the, the symbol 2 doesn't exist. So I have to restart the 0, carry to the next side. But then again, I can't do 2, so I have to restart back to 0 and then carry. And I get 1, 0, 0. And so that is 4. And I can keep going. And I've done this before, so it's going to be 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, so on and so forth. And these numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And the reason why I know that is because I counted starting from here to here. Okay? I think it's easier to first take a number in binary and convert it to decimal and then figure out how to go the other way to sort of understand how, to, how it goes. So let's say, let's just take this number here, okay? So I'm saying that 11 in base 10, I'm going to put a subscript 10 there. I'm going to say that 11 base 10 is 1011 in base 2, okay? So how do I convert from binary back to decimal to get what I want here? Well, what you do is you do 1 times 2 to a power plus 0 times 2 to a power plus 1 times 2 to a power plus 1 times 2 to a power. And this all equals something. Now, where did I get this from? Well, the 2s are all the same, okay? So you just do 2s. These 1s, 0s, 1s, and 1s, well, just take a look. 
is just the digits of my number in base 10. So you take the digits of base of your of your base 2 and then you multiply it by 2 to a power. Well, what power do you multiply by? Well, you start at 0 and you just count up. Okay? That's how you convert from binary to decimal. So this is going to be 2 to the 0 is 1, so that's 1. 2 to the 1 is 2, so that's 2. 2 squared is 4, but 4 times 0 is 0. And then 2 to the 3 is 8. And so 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. There you go. Okay? If I were teaching in class, I would just do another number. But I feel like, I don't know, I don't have any feedback. Did you understand that? Did you not? I have no idea. I'm going to assume you, you understood it. And if you don't, rewind this video and watch that again. I mean, hopefully you'll get it the next time. Um, I think I'll do one more example just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. How about that? So let's figure out what 110101 base 2 is. Okay? So let's do it. Let's do it the long and excruciating way. So I'm going to say 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 2. Okay? And so again, I've got 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, okay? And then I fill in the power of the 2, 2, 2, 2, okay? And then now I just uh, multiply everything out. So this is 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus, that should be a, whoa, 0, 1, 2, that should be a 3, and that should be a 4, and that should be a 5. Wow, I did that was terrible. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1, 2, 4, 8, but there's a 0, this is 16, and then 32. Wait, this is a big number, okay? Um, so let's see, so uh, 16, 4 is 20, that's uh, 52, 53, 53 base 10, okay? Um, did we, are we, are we right? Let's, uh, Apparently, oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's open up. Let's open up Python. Okay, here we go. Python. Uh, what is it? Uh, bin. Oh shoot, I forgot how to do. Is it bin? Yeah, bin one zero. You know, one 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 zero one zero one. Blast. Uh, is it B? Last. No. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video. Uh, I'll be right back. Pausing. Okay, I apologize. I I kind of just did this on the fly. So you can use the uh, there's the bin function. So you can take 53, and then that will convert you to binary. So one one zero one zero one, which is I think exactly what we got, 110101. One, zero, one, zero, one. And then if you use the int function, you can do 110101 one, zero, one, zero, one, and just do comma 2. And then there you go, 53. So we're, uh, so we got it. Okay, so let's convert back. Convert back to here. Cool. So uh, we did that one right. So we're, yay, we did it, right? All right, so now we obviously need to go the other way. So how do we take a number in decimal and convert it to binary, okay? You can do two different methods. Your textbook, or I say your textbook, the textbook that I'm using, um, this guy, Introduction to Experimentation. It's not in the focus. Whatever, that's good enough. Um, introduction to Experimentation, what they do is they take the number and they divide by two and they divide by two and they divide by two and they keep saving the remainder. I don't like to do that, okay? What I like to do is I like to take the number 46, base 10, and I like to make my, what I call my bank of twos from the south, so it's bank of twos. It's spelled bank of twos, but it's bank of twos. Okay? And, in, yeah, all right. So you get the bank of twos, right? So you do 0, 1, 2, uh, 4, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, uh, 512, 1024. Okay? And then next to it, you write 0, 1, wait. Oh. Is that right? Zero, one, no. It's just one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twen
this is 2 to the 0, this is 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the, oh, I missed 8, last. 8, 2 to the 3, 16, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7, 2 to the 8, 2 to the 9, 2 to the 10, okay? And so I like to save my bank of 2 there. So what I do is I take this number 46 and I say, which number, which number on this uh, line here, right? I want to make sure my computer is good here. Which, which number on this line here is bigger than that number? And it's 64. If I make a number with six digits, so if I did 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so it'd be 0, 1, 0, 1, so I need seven digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that would be 64 base 10, right? If I did that, I would be greater than 40, 46 base 10. So what I do then is I say, okay, I need a 32. So 32 base 10 plus what? Well, if you do 46 minus 32, that's 8. Okay, I'm going to do base 10, base 10, right? Uh, no, that's 10, sorry. Uh, wow, I'm really bad at math here. Uh, eight, what's 8 plus 6? 14? Okay, so 14 base 10. So 46 minus 32 is 14. So then you, but what you're basically trying to do is you're trying to add up to 14 with power to 2. So you can't use 16 because 16 is bigger than 14. But you can use 8. So you can do plus 8. And then you can subtract off 8. And then that will give you 6 base 10. Then you can add a 4. Right? And then minus 4 base 10 will give you a 2 base 10. And then you can just add a 2 base 10 and you're done. So 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 46. Let's make sure. 32 plus 8 is 40, 44, 46. So this is essentially an expansion. It's an expansion of 46 into power of the 2. Okay? And then what you do is you just need to write down all of your different numbers. So you need, um, you're going to need a, a, like 2 to the 5th plus a 2 to the 3rd plus a... 2 squared plus a 2 to the 1, okay? And then those basically become, if you look here, those become your digits, right? So you're going to have a 0, a 1, a 1, a 1, a 0, and a 1, base 2, okay? Because this is 2 to the 0, that is 2 to the 1, that is 2 to the 2, that is 2 to the 3, oops, that is 2 to the 4, and that is 2 to the 5. Okay, and let's see if we were right. So let's go back to, uh, oops, on. okay. Let's go back here. So uh, what is it? Bin, bin of 46. And it's 101110. 101110. Great. And if we do int of 101110, comma 2, we get 46. Sweet. So we got it. So let's go back. Let's go back back to here okay let's do again if you didn't catch that just rewind it um, but if you didn't catch and you want one more example let's do one more okay so let's do uh, well I don't know I already did 46 I don't want to do 42 for me in life let's do what's this year 2020 let's just do 20 okay all right let's do 2020 why not that's a big number 2020 base 10 in binary Okay, we're going to need a couple more powers of 2. So 128, that's 2048, right? That's 2 to the power of 11. Um, actually, I guess I didn't need that, right? So 1024, so that's uh, so 1024 base 10 plus, I'm going to subtract 1024 from this. Ooh, this is making my mental math. Oh, I don't know. If I, can I do that by hand? That's uh, 1020. And then a thousand minus four. What's a thousand minus four? Nine ninety six. So it's nine hundred and ninety six base ten. I really hope I do this math right. Okay. So then I need a five twelve. So I'm going to add a five twelve base ten, and I'm going to subtract off five twelve. And thankfully that's easy. That's four eight four base ten. So four eight four base ten. So I now I need a two fifty six. So 256 base 10. So I'm going to do 484, sorry for being left-handed, minus 256 
Oh geez, I got I got a carry. What that becomes a seven and a fourteen. So it's fourteen minus six is what eight? Is that right? Yeah. Seven minus five is two. So two twenty-eight. Base ten. Okay. So now I need a one twenty-eight. So I'm gonna do one twenty-eight base ten. I think I picked the hardest number because twenty forty-eight is like almost. 2020. But anyway, so I'm going to subtract off uh, 128 base 10, and that's going to give me uh, 100 base 10. And then with 100, I need a 64. I'm going to go ahead and add a 32. I definitely need a 32 because that's, uh, that's 96 base 10. So if I do 100 minus 96, that's going to give me 4, and I just need a 4 which is 2 to 2, so then I just need a 4 base 10. I'm not going to add that back together. I'm hoping I did that right, okay? So this is um, 2 two to the, this is 2 to the 10 plus 2 to the 9 plus 2 to the 8 plus 2 to the 7 plus 2 to the 6 plus 2 to the 5 and then four is two to the two, okay? So then that means I need a, a, a one, a one, a one, a one, a one, a one. So that's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and then four, three, two, one, and then zero. So two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, two to the four, two to the five, two to the six, two to the seven, two to the eight, two to the nine, two to the 10. Okay, wunderbar. All right, let's see if we got this right. Okay, here we go. So, okay, so where are we at? Um, bin, no, 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 let's do int of one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, somebody drum roll, please. Boom, and we're done. So let's do bin of 2020, and we get the same number there. Okay, sweet. Uh, where's the camera? Camera's right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Post in the comments if you have any questions about binary to decimal and vice versa. Um, if you're curious about hexadecimal, uh, it's very, very similar to binary, except it's base 16. So you have 16 symbols. Um, octo, you have base 8, so you have 8 symbols. Um, maybe I'll do a video later on... Uh, on some ASCII codes or something like that if I feel, feel like that strikes my fancy. Anyway, I'm out. Have a good one. See you in the next video.